students today we going to do an activity to find out the area of trapezium and we going to use the journal material that is colorful paper pair of scissors geometry box that includes the things like eraser pencil scale etc and the glue stick so before starting the activity you should know what a trapezium is so to tell you let me start cutting a trapezium from a craft paper in front of you and then we'll discuss what is a trapezium as you can see this is a craft paper folded one side and these two are parallel sides okay so i'm just drawing any two lines like this now you can see a shape between this two parallel sides and two are non parallel sides so this shape is known as a trapezium so to prove the activity we going to cut the trapezium here you can see it's very simple to cut because if we fold the craft paper automatic having parallel sides and then just draw two non parallel and cut so you can have the trapezium in this way now i'm ready with the two trapezium like this okay so let me denote one of its parallel side as a okay and the second parallel side i am taking as b now what is the height here the distance between the perpendicular distance between the two parallel sides of a trapezium is known as its height how you can get the height even without using scale you can get the height how you can fold it from the corner in this manner and they should coincide they should not be outside okay you can fold this in this manner right from the above corner and you can get this height so take care while folding okay you can see this is not outside this is not inside this is exactly coinciding each other so in this way by folding you can get this height you you can see a crease here that is edge so i am marking this crease as edge i am marking it with the dotted line so this is h i am writing okay this is h now i am marking the the measurement of the parallel side in the another trapezium also so this the bigger one is b we have taken because they are congruent trapeziums we have cut them together so we need to take the congruent means the same trapezium okay so and this is a smaller one is a now how will proof so first of all we need to paste it the upside down and the second one is just like this and don't paste this flap which we have taken as a height now i have pasted one trapezium upside down and this i have not pasted yet i am going to if i am pasting it it will be like this and don't pay we need not paste this so we going to just cut this flap which is with this height so i'm cutting this okay now we can paste the remaining piece here after paste pasting it is like this and this is the piece which is we left we cut from here 
now we can join this piece on the second side here okay so let us paste this also now just have a look using two congruent trapezium we have made this shape we have cut it from the height this flap and we have pasted that flap kind of thing the small triangle you can say the right angle triangle with the height edge we have pasted here now this figure is what kind of figure is it isn't it like a rectangle yes it is a rectangle with the length you can see this is a and this is b so with the length a and b means a plus b we can say so the length is a plus b and the breadth is h the height will become the breadth of this rectangle so don't forget to label it okay now you can see that this rectangle with the length a plus b and the breadth as h having some area and you know the formula to find out the area of a rectangle that is length into breadth so length is a plus b and breadth is h so easily you can find out the area now what you have observed here that the area of this rectangle is equals to the area of two trapezium that were congruent we have taken two trapezium area of two trapezium equals to area of this one rectangle so i have written here area of rectangle equals to area of two trapezium here in this figure so let us write a what is the area of rectangle that is a plus b means the length into breadth a plus b into h h is at the breadth so it is equals to area of two trapeziums so if area of two trapezium is equals to this and if we need to find out the area of one trapezium what can we do just divide this thing by 2 so a plus b into h we can just divide this thing by 2 fine so this will become the required result now you can see the result as well what we need to prove to prove that area of trapezium is half of the you can see it is half of the product of sum of parallel sides these were the parallel side a and b the sum of parallel side become a plus b and height so product of parallel sides and height and half of that so this is the required result in this activity we follow the method that we are going from known to unknown what we know we know the formula for the area of rectangle by using this we reach to the result that was unknown means the area of trapezium so in this manner you can practice more results also yourself by develop, developing your thinking okay so you just do this you will never going to forget after doing this activity you always remember the area of the trapezium okay so i hope you enjoyed this thank you so much